Hello friends and welcome to another lecture on chemical engineering thermodynamics. Now today we'll take up a problem which has come in chemical engineering thermodynamics 2 in Mumbai University in the year May 19. The problem is 2B. The problem is on your screen. Have a look. The activity coefficient of a binary solution at fixed temperature and pressure are correlated as ln gamma 1 x2 square 0.5 plus 2 x1 and ln gamma 2 is equal to x1 square 1.5 minus 2 x2. Do these equations satisfy the Gibbs Duhem equation? 10 marks. And believe me, the solution is so simple. It's so simple that 10 marks is just something you will get without a little effort. For more such videos and more such interesting solutions to problems, Please keep subscribing my channel. This is very important to me. Once again, I request you to subscribe my channel before you start watching my video. Okay, guys, so let's go with the solution. <clears throat> well, I'll start with a little basic. The Gibbs Duhem equation is xi d ln gamma i is equal to 0 for a binary solution it can be written as i'll reduce the thickness of the pen yeah for the binary solution it can be written as x1 d ln gamma 1 plus x2 d ln gamma 2 is equal to 0 we divide this by dx1 and therefore we get x1 d ln gamma 1 by dx1 plus x2 d ln gamma 2 by dx1 is equal to 0. So now we have to find out what is d ln gamma x1 by dx1. <clears throat> okay, so we have ln gamma 1 given as x2 square 0 0.5 to x1. So we have ln gamma 1 as x2 square right 0 0.5 plus 2x1 plus 2x1 so the first step is writing everything in terms of x1 so we write it down so we write it down as 1 minus x1 the whole square is equal to 0 0.5 plus 2x1. So that also can be written as x1 square minus 1. Uh, one second, guys. Yes, that's x1 square minus 2x1 uh, <coughs> plus. 1 into 0 0.5 plus 2x1, right? So we open the bracket and we are going to get 0 0.5x1 square minus x1 plus 0 0.5 plus 2x1 cube minus 4x1 square plus 2x1. So let's rewrite this now. So we have 2x1 cube. That's the first one we have. And let's take x1 square now. So the x1 square is going to be 4x1 square 0.5x1 square. So we are left with minus, minus 3.5x1 square. Okay. <coughs> Minus 3.5x1 square. So, yeah, there we are back. We're back to our board. Minus 3.5x1 square, right? And then we have 2x1 minus x1. So, that's plus x1. And that's plus 0 0.5. Now, 
the interesting thing that you need to do here is now you have to differentiate this. So tau ln gamma 1 by tau x1 is going to be equal to 3 to the 6 x1 square minus 3.5 into 2 is 7 x1 plus 1. So this is what we are left with. So we can write this as 6 x1 square minus 6 x1 minus x1 plus 1. So we can now write this as 6 x1 is common and that's x1 minus 1 minus x1 minus 1. So we can write this as 6 x1 minus 1 into x1 minus 1. <clears throat> right? So we have this equation now and therefore we can write this as we have to multiply this by x1. So this finally multiplied with x1 tau ln gamma i by tau x1 is going to be equal to so we can rewrite this as x1 minus 1 will be minus x2 and so it's going to be minus x1 x2 6 x1 minus 1. This is what we have got of this term. Now we have to find out what is x2 ln tau ln gamma 2 by tau x1. So for that what we need to do is we need to take ln gamma 2 first which in our case is x1 square into 1.5 minus 2 x2. So that's x1 square into 1.5 minus 2 x2. Let's check it once again. Yeah. Now this is simple to solve. So this is going to be equal to x1 square into 1.5 minus 2 into x2 is 1 minus x1. Right? So we get this as x1 square. 1.5 minus 2 minus 2x1. So that's going to be equal to x1 square into 1.5 minus 2 makes it minus 0 0.5. So we have minus 0 0.5 and we have this as plus O. Oh, that's plus 2x1. Right? Now what we do is we differentiate it tau ln gamma 2 by tau x1. So now we have 2x1 minus 0 0.5 into 2x1 plus x1 square into 2. That's into 2. So we are we have now 2x1, 2x1, that makes it 4x1 square minus x1 plus 2x1 square. So that's 6x1 square minus x1. So that makes it <coughs> x1 into 6x1 square. minus 1 and if you multiply it by x2, x2 is equal to tau ln gamma 2 by tau x1 is going to be equal to now x1, x2, 6x1 six minus 1. So as we can see here, the second differential is this. And the first differential, as we can see, is the exact opposite. And if we add, that is, if we take x1 into tau ln gamma 1 by tau x1 plus x2 into tau ln gamma 2 by tau x2, tau x1, this will be equal to 0 and this 0 
is equal to summation of <coughs> i is equal to 1 to 2 xi d ln gamma i. So here is the proof. This is the proof that yes, this equation follows Gibbs Duhem equation. Wasn't that a very interesting solution and a simple one? Yes. Keep watching and keep subscribing to my videos and keep watching them always to learn more about chemical engineering thermodynamics. Okay, guys, have a good time. Have a great day. Bye.